welcome back everyone today i have another video i'm playing don flamingo today uh, i wanted to explore this leader it has been um relegated to be a bad deck at the moment while it was really good uh, i wanted to try out something different uh with the new cards that we got with the killer uh, as we are able to search all the kid pirates and we get some decent cards on that and um i wanted to try it out and see if it's uh it was good enough for this deck uh, i tried with like the uh prism deck with like being able to play um the fight cost event and trying to keep everything locked down i didn't like that deck it was i mean i didn't like how it was playing right now it just didn't deal with anything it is not good against gecko moria because they can oh sure um if you have five cards down then they play a gecko moria and then they the card doesn't really do anything um so that was the biggest problem with the card and um so I, I was I wanted to try something like more mid range, see if it, if it was better. That's why I'm playing something like Pong Gibson in the deck, so I can pump my killers and then they can attack. And I have different attackers, different avenues. Uh, it really I'm playing Magellan too, just to see if I can just like stifle my opponents. But it's a card difficult for my opponent to remove, and then I can do something else. Uh, it really didn't work as well as I wanted to, uh, but I already made the deck, so I have some some games to show. But um, yeah, this deck is definitely in, 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 in a difficult spot. I think film might be the best way to play, but it's still very weak against removal. So I don't know how you deal with um, all the things that, that, that like Sakatsuki or even Gekko Moria will still be able to uh, outclass you some most of the time. So yeah, that's that's going to be a, um, a difficult matchup to overcome uh, in general. But I mean, still, uh, I think it's probably the film version of this deck. Is probably gonna do better if anything uh, is more um, consistent I think uh, on what the game plan it is and because uh, this this killer didn't didn't do much to be honest the, like the cards that he's searching is not like too powerful unless you're playing the seven drop uh, kid but I, I thought that card was gonna get removed so easily that it, it just still doesn't work with the plan so I wanted to focus my whole game plan into the ten drop but it creates like long games that you're maybe gonna win, maybe not gonna win, depending if they can remove the ten drop. So um, it is a difficult ma deck to uh, to maneuver right now. Um, but I, I I gave it a, a try, and this is what I came up with. So uh, let's go see some gameplay. And a huge thanks to Car Market for sponsoring this video. All right, and we're gonna play against Yamato. I do expect to be a uh, good on better in this matchup because I have a lot of counter power, so they don't get to actually go for game on us so if anything this is gonna be the, the easiest matchup for us uh, the aggressive matchups um <clears throat> you do have an advantage versus those versus the um the control the heavy removal matchups that those are gonna be the difficult ones of course and then uh here i mean still waiting for that um yamato to do a play here playing a little bit slow I would, I get, they could they, probably thinking uh, they either go with everything here and uh, that forces me to do the take the damage and I could trigger the Bagua here to ramp free but I don't think that's what I want to do because um, I don't have any 4k counters so I kind of want to I kind of want to keep that so I can combo out of my opponent's attack here and I want to play the kid because it just I can block and combo out of my opponent attack. Or I can do many things here. And Sugar is very good in this matchup uh, because uh, it's good against Arlong more than anything. Or whatever they play that has like Rush or Rush-like abilities. And that's why I wanted to do this. And I'm definitely going to do the Bagua here because uh, I do want to ramp now. And then we're going to play uh, Magellan. To stifle their energy a little bit then we're gonna search um i guess i can get the 2k counter because i don't have much counter at the moment and then attack for eight see if you want to take i mean if he wants to heal that's fine with me if he wants to combo out of this uh okay i mean that's also fine with me i guess uh he goes to five nine to five life but that's not a a problem for us we have the board control we have the car advantage we have the uh the sugar so it's looking good for us at the moment. Again, we have the sugar for the Arlong, so it's not the best play to play an Arlong here. He does instead play the Mihawk, so he can play multiple cards this turn. Uh, doesn't seem bad. 
Um, but then I will be able to attack the the Om. That would be um, good for us, I guess. And then we'll see what we can do. He's decided if he wants to play cards with Om. I mean, I, I would, I guess. You kind of need something on board so you can do something. It feels like me. And then he's going to attack for a big number here. I might have to sacrifice my kid. Because I don't want to take damage. So... Well, I'm just going to combo out of that one. It's only two 2Ks. Although I don't have any more 2Ks. But I can search for some, I guess. Ooh, will I get the Flamingo here? Maybe. I mean, it's not terrible. We can still search for more 2Ks here. And we can use the energy here to attack the opponent. Attack it for 7. See if he wants to save. He does want to save. Okay. And then attack for 7. See if they want to save. They don't want to save. Okay. And then play another Magellan just so we can increase the clock here. And see what my opponent wants to do. And I do another search. So I, can, I was looking for a 4k counter here. That's why. And we got two of them. So that feels great. <clears throat> so now I feel a little bit more protected just in case. I didn't just want to randomly die to a 7 drop. Although again, I have the sugar so I cannot run, die to that car. And he decides to deal with her. Because I mean, yeah, it, it is an issue. I agree. So he has an option to either attack the leader. Or attack the kid. It doesn't matter. I think I can just combo out of this one. Yeah. And then I have the uh, the leader. I mean, I can just uh, lock everything that he plays. Not everything, but at least the Gadatsu. So I can attack with everything this turn. If possible. Uh, oh, they hit a trigger. They hit a Dernami. Which is bad, but I still freeze the leader. Because that's the, like, the biggest problem here. Like, he can play an Arlong if he wants to, but he won't be able to kill me. And then I have him at three attacks from going for game. He only has four cards in hand. It's looking better at the moment for us. And if he plays an Arlong, he has to take a life, so it's looking much better for us at that point, right? It depends on what my opponent does. He plays a Mihawk. Plays more distraction that I have, like either attack, or I can go for game. I mean, going for game is a little bit riskier because, I mean, triggers. And he has a blocker now. So, we'll see what we do. He's also going to be uh, attacking with Gadatsu for, like, a big alien. At least for nine. Wait, he didn't attack for nine? Oh, wait, he attacked the, the Magellan anyway, so it doesn't matter. But he should have attacked for nine, of course. Um, I'm gonna do the spider. I just want Connor here so I can go to like one life if anything And I am not gonna attack the life because I can just lose to a random trigger here and he has a blocker So I don't have enough actually to go for game So let's just use these resources to attack and because I don't have anything else to do with my Dawn I'm just gonna attack with uh, what I have Attack for six. I probably should have attacked for more, but it doesn't matter uh, he uses El Tor, so he's at 2 life. Next turn, I should probably be able to go for game, depending on what my opponent does. I also have, like, card advantage with this one drop. Unless he doesn't attack it, then it depends on what he does. But he does have to keep up the the Momosuke, right? Momonosuke. Oh, he's going to attack with everything. In 2, my leader. Put me to one. I could take that. Probably is not that bad. Okay. You have a 10 drop. <clears throat> I mean, it depends on what my opponent does here. He goes with the with the Mihawk. I mean, I have a lot of Connor. I can't, I kind of I kind of combo with, like my opponent going all in here. Uh, and I can just let this one die. I don't want to use any counter just in case. Uh, and I can take it a little bit slow. And especially now that I drew that. That's much better. Um, yeah. Let's just get the baby five. 
And I will attack for five here. See if my opponent wants to block. But if he blocks, then I KO the blocker. So then it's okay. And I again I just I cannot go for game with these cards. I mean it's a little bit too risky. So I gotta uh, be a little bit more careful here. He is committing to trying to go for game this turn. And again, uh, we're in the same spot where if he plays the seven drop, I don't think I die and I still have a blocker. And I have a bunch of counter now. I have like more than 20k on a worth and combo power in my hand. So he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to win. Uh, at least on damage this turn. And then I'm gonna do spiderware to restamp my blocker so he's still in the same spot. And he is no longer able to play our lungs, so we're gonna try to keep up uh, to keep alive this uh, kid, so we can go for game next turn. Now it's virtually impossible for him to actually survive. And he attacks the kid. I mean, it doesn't matter where he attacked, Gonelli. Honestly, um, I mean, he attacks the flamingo, but it, it didn't matter where he attacked. I was gonna be able to win here. Attack for eight. If he combos out, then. Um, I can just uh, don't need to do much, honestly. <laughs> but he won't be able to combo out here. Highly doubt it. Again, if he combos out, he doesn't have a hand, and I'm not that worried. Uh, but I was going for a game probably anyway. 13 is not possible with three cards. All right, and we're going to go first against Reju. Um, here I'm thinking maybe this is a decent matchup for us because we do have a lot of defense. However, they are fast. Like, this 7 drop is a problem. I think this card is just very oppressive versus so many decks. Um, I mean, it's not like an overpowered card by any means, but the fact that you can get it out on turn uh, on 4 Dawn is kind of uh, busted, not going to lie. But we're able to... I mean, uh, we're still going to be able to, to enact our game plan here. We don't have anything here early. Uh, we bottom deck one of the flamingos, which is going to be our win conditions. And I'm going to attack here. Just let him go. Uh, I want to play this four drop and try to do something, but they're going to be able to bounce it back to my hand probably. It's not the best card to play here. Probably a blocker, a five drop would be better. But I don't have those at the moment, so. We do with what we have. And then here, here comes the seven drop. Could be an issue. Also, they can just bottom deck or hand. That's also always an, an issue here on this matchup. So that's why I'm like, mm -hmm. like I have to be really careful when I combo, when I don't combo, when I take a life. It's just everything is. It could be an issue. And then they go Ishi, so they're gonna play the seven drop. That's a problem on its own too difficult to deal with this early so I have to take this one but then uh, be, by me taking this one then I'm in the risk of uh, getting uh, put in so that could be another problem doesn't have two K's it would seem like or he just trying to just drop their hand so <clears throat> so they can use like radio next turn all the options are available to him right now. <clears throat> they also play that blocker. Interesting. Um, I mean, another seven drop will be also kind of bad for us. But they're not going to do um, Perona here. So I'm definitely just going to combo, try to save some life here at the moment. We have a lot of events in our deck, so it shouldn't be that bad. But I don't have them at the moment in my hand. So we'll see how that works for us. Now he plays this five drop, which is a problem. And then we have to make it to 10 done to be able to do something. And because he didn't have anything like 2k corners before. Ooh. Okay. So I get to at least kill this one if he doesn't have another one. That's pretty decent. And then I attack the uh, the Raju for like a, a bunch. If he wants to give us his whole hand to save this one. I mean, he probably won't have enough to just keep going. 
uh at some point like the, the deck is good but like you also need some cards to some key cards in your hand to to be able to keep going so we're able to get rid of the seven drop for at least one turn and uh, we're just trying to buy time here at the moment so we can um so we can play the 10 drop at some point and here my opponent does attack for six which is okay and at least they uh they had a cheat uh, Sugar is not so good against this deck because they can always just play one of the babies and bring back something else. So it doesn't feel great. But at least... Okay, she's going to attack the Sugar and then attack us for 7. Might have to take this damage. Or unless he wants to play like a 2-drop um, Raid you here. But he can just slowly whittle him down uh, of resources. We don't have any board presence. I guess Magellan here is not terrible against this deck. So it's a, uh, a, at least allows us to punish him a little bit here. Since we're not going to be playing the 10 drop anyway. And then we can just try to barely just get uh, remove something on his board. And then he's going to draw four cards here, I assume. No, he's not. Okay. All right, uh, well, at least I'm going to attack this one because I want it to be destroyed. Like, if I attack the Raju, he might combo out of that one to save him. So I just want to try to develop something here. Next turn, I'm going to be able to lock it anyway. So it doesn't feel as bad for us. And then he's going to draw some cards here, I assume. I mean, we're not... I mean, we're probably going to be able to probably play the 10-drop. And we're able to stifle his... Uh, his uh, judge turn one turn because if he uses the uh, minus ability here he won't be able to play judge next turn so he probably won't be using a uh, uh, minus ability this turn so that's good news i would say having a pawn gibson here would have been amazing because it forces him to use the raju this turn and um and that way, he won't be able to play Judge anytime soon. But we have to take a 7 here. And what does he do here? I don't think he's going to do a minus ability because he wants... Yeah, exactly. He plays the Raid, you just hardcast the Raid, you. He doesn't want to play... Um, he doesn't do, want to do a minus ability here. And I'm going to attack the life, trying to uh, deal some damage because I'm going to play the 10 drop, of course. It's not going to work. We knew that much, but... And this turn, he's going to play uh, Judge plus, like, three bodies. Well, I mean, he's not going to be as good because he's, like, he has a full board anyway. So he probably shouldn't even play Judge at this moment. But I think he's going to play Judge. Also, by the way, our hand is terrible at the moment. <laughs> we could have died to anything, honestly. And unless I'm going to draw another 10 drop, he still does judge. And I can understand that because if he plays something else and I play another 10 drop Flamingo, he can't play around or stuff. And um, yeah, it's a decent decision to just keep uh, destroy everything that he has and just force me to. Yeah, put everything on top and then I can now uh, like lock it with Don Flamingo. That's a nice strategy too, and I don't hate it. I think he's, it's, it's viable. And that way he doesn't get locked with Flamingo if I play a second one. So I'm forced to go for game on the cards that I have. If I had a, um, a Pawn Gibson here, then I would feel inclined. Maybe I have to defend this. Oh, he attacks my life. I'm going to take it because I need to go for game next turn. I think it's the only option. He has seven cards in hand, but I mean, I have no no other option, honestly. Oh, no. He kills my, my last guy. Yeah. It's not it's no longer possible. Um, I guess I can try to survive one more turn. Um, he doesn't have much down, so at least that going for us. We play a blocker. 
Uh, we'll play this to draw some cards, maybe. And then let him go. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Depending on what he has. But he didn't even take damage this turn, which feels terrible. Because how am I going to go for game next turn? He also kind of used the judge ability to tap my... Um, to tap my um, my dawn, and then I won't be able to out combo properly. <laughs> um, let's see if he remembers that ability. No one, no one remembers that ability on Judge that you can minus do your dawn to tap one of my dawn, and that would be really bad for me. And I think I'm just counting on that. My opponent not remembering that because if they do, I'm just cooked. And he doesn't remember. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's see if he attacks for game here. He attempts to go attack for game. Okay, so I'm in a better spot to go for game here. Okay, okay. I mean, if he does remember to use his abilities, I would have lost, but... Well, not necessarily lost. I would have lost the, uh, the kid. Oh, wait. Why did I do this? I didn't look at the top five for anything. I should have just gone for game. But I mean, of course, he has nine cards in hand. That that doesn't help my my cause. I mean, eight cards in hand, so it makes it a, a little bit more too difficult to actually go for game. And I attack with the ten drop here, hoping that I can block the judge and then have enough corner for something else. But I mean, ah, let me tell you, this is looking rough. <laughs> And I have to play around the judge ability, even though my opponent doesn't remember that ability. I still kind of have to. Although I should have attacked with a bigger number here. I mean, I have nothing else. But I can bluff, I guess. And if he attacks incorrectly here, I mean, I have a chance, but he didn't. At least he's going to be able to attack for like 8. No, I think for 9. Or just do Bismarck and send you and raid you and just kill me here. So yeah, this was uh, really terrible for us, I'm going to lie. All right, we're going to play against Kikomoria. We're going first. Um, we have the Searcher. He has the brand new. So he will get a free kill on this one. However, if we get to get a Sugar here, we will uh, be able to tap the brand new and um, be able to search. Feels great, I think. And we have a lot of Searchers here. So I think we're going to keep that train going. See if he wants to attack my life or he wants to attack the Searchers. I would assume he wants to attack the searchers. Um, the one card that I don't want to see here would be Absalom, because he will be able to kill my two things at um, like in one go. I mean, they already replaced themselves kind of, so that would be okay, but still not ideal. And I think my opponent is either choosing to do something else or Absalom, or depending on what he has, probably doesn't have the Absalom, because that would be like the like the snap play I think here. He's going to attack for 7 at, and he, he has the other one. He has the um, the Doctor, the Hutchback. And they're great. These baby fives are able to block a 7k attack and at the same time um, allow me to uh, to search to replace themselves. Very, very good at the moment, especially against uh, Gekumura, if they don't have the the, the Hutchback, because that's the only card that, not the Hutchback, the, uh, the Absalom. Uh, that's the only card that is really hard on top to deal with. Now, let's see if he was able to get that um, Absalom here. He he wasn't. He still doesn't have it. Um, so unless he drew it for turn or he mills it out of the top of the deck with the uh, Gecko's ability, uh, he won't be able to deal with it this turn, I guess. So let's see what happens here. Uh, he still attacks seven. He's going to attack on one of the other things. He mills two, and he gets Perona. Makes us this card, so it mitigates the searches a little bit. But at least we're able to choose what we want to uh, search here. And uh, okay, so he attacks the sugar. Okay, that's good. Uh, we get more searches. I'm trying to get more uh, as many flamingos as I can because that's at the win condition ultimately against uh, removal decks. Uh, we're able to get much more value if we do that. Uh, 
I probably mm, yeah just do this just save some down here I don't have any other place so it feels bad but at least we're getting to the 10 down next turn two four six seven seven I'm sorry we're getting to seven down so we're still two more turns away from getting where we want to be but hopefully uh, we start doing it this turn however he does have the gecko Moria so this is where he might be able to still outgrind us. We still haven't dealt the damage. He still has a fat hand at the moment. So he doesn't feel great. And I guess we're going to attack the uh, brand new. Uh, the, the Borsalino. It doesn't feel great, but I think it's fine. Uh, first opponent to deal with some of our stuff in, in our board. Depending on what happens, I, I want to use the um, the Pong Gibbs on this turn so I can tap something. And then when I play the 10 drop, he's going to have a couple of cards that are going to be tapped. Um, I still feel like I'm, I'm in a disadvantage spot at the moment. Uh, but I guess at least we get to use the Pong Gibbs on here. Save some life. And I assume he's going to be able to deal me some damage. Ah, I drew the Magellan, which is doesn't feel great at the moment. Mm. I guess I will use it here. Still, he doesn't have the Absalom. So we're able to tap everything, and then he plays uh, Kusan. And he didn't attack with leader because he just gets blocked. Okay, so we have options. He has Kusan, which doesn't feel great. But what we can do instead of playing the 10 drop and we can uh, slow roll them a little bit here is because he has not so many cards in hand we do get to um, develop some attackers here and attack for 8-8 eight, eight. if he wants to save them okay if he doesn't want to save them um, I guess that's okay too that's not like the biggest deal and that way we don't play uh, Kusan directly into the 10 drop um, I mean the, uh, the 10 drop is directly into Kusan uh, that would feel really bad for us. So we're trying to play around like him being able to remove the 10-drop. I mean, we're slowly developing some semblance of a board, but I mean, he still can't just play like a, an, uh, a Gekko Moria and rebuild his board uh, at some point. So uh, I don't expect to be able to win this one, but we'll see. He plays Perona, makes me this card, I assume. Or, oh no, he's giving minus cost to something. Uh, which he, he could have done it with the Kusan, so I think that was a missed opportunity. I mean, he didn't want to tap Kusan, that's for sure. But, I mean, I, I forced it to get tapped with many cars here, so. And he's not going to be able to kill both, can he? He kills, like, the Absalom or something else. So I don't know why he gave two calls to the other one. Maybe he was trying to do a Rob Lucy, but he wasn't able to. I'm not entirely sure. And then he attacks the uh, the Sugar. So we are in the spot that we want to be. And we have three Flamingos. So that's definitely where we want to be on this spot. Where my opponent has few cards in hand. Uh, he has to defend his board. And we're going to be able to lock uh, like most of his board here. So removing this 10 drop is going to be not the easiest task. However, he could play another Gekko Moria, just replace the cards that he has on board. But I don't think he wants to sacrifice his Gekko Moria. So, and as long as he's not able to deal with this Kusan, I mean, with this uh, Flaming, uh, Don Flamingo, uh, we're going to be in a good spot, I think. Uh, let's see what, what our opponent does, however. Uh, we do have um, Pong Gibson here. So we can stifle his turn a little bit more. He only has one card that he can attack with. And he's going to use the Dawn to attack instead of playing something else. Which, it would make sense, I guess, because, I mean, there's nothing else to do here. Uh, here, however, we're going to attack for fives. See if he wants to combo out of those. He doesn't. And then we're going to guarantee the kill on the other one. And at the same time, just uh, block the other three. So he only has one attack this turn. And he, yeah, he might be able to deal with one of the uh, one of the flamingos. I I don't think he's not gonna be able to, but at least 
uh, we're still developing a, a flamingo here, so uh, it's looking better by the minute, but we're still all like kind of low on hand size. He still has five life, by the way, and they can always outgrind us with like if you start playing like back to back to back to back, um, Gecko Moria. It will come down to um, at some point he's gonna play a couple of creatures, and I'm gonna have like two or three flamingos. And I'm going to try to go like attack for game, attack for game, and uh, we'll have to see if that's enough to win. It might not be enough still, but I think it's the best chance that this deck has against um, um, like removal heavy decks, which is not his uh, strongest suit. And yeah, here you go, another Gekko Moria. And he's able to play this one. Oh, he's going to play a, a, a Hell Maple probably. Which is okay for us, because that removes something else out of the board, so... It's not the worst. And this way I can poke, poke, keep locked, everything else. So I can poke at the 5 here. And I can poke at the Gecko, he's gonna save it. And then still freeze everything. Now, this is where I think he should use this Dawn to deal us damage, probably. Attempt to deal damage. Um, yeah, I, I think you just... Because I, I, I'm going to have to be running out of uh, 10 drops at some point, right? So these cards are going to be a problem for him. No, nah, but not attacking the 10 drop. That's that's incorrect. That's that's a mistake. That we Probably that loses us the game. Attacking the 10 drop here is just not what you need to be doing. I mean, he's trying to whittle down my hand, maybe, but that's not the correct play at all. Here, I just get to kill your board for free. He needed to he needed to attack my leader and um, deal me the two damage. That way, um, that way, uh, when he untaps with this board, he's gonna be in a good spot. But I'm just gonna keep developing. I'm gonna uh, use my opponent's um, not decisiveness to win the game. And at this point, uh, if he's not playing Gekko Morias, he's not winning the game. I don't think so. Because uh, I will outgrind him. Well, maybe not. I mean, I still have three cards in hand. It's not like the easiest stuff to do here. But yeah, he he's now has to attack my leader. He's forced to. He still has five life, by the way. So we might not even win this game. Uh, he attacks for six. That's a good number at the moment. So I might have to take that one. <laughs> oh, but he has the, the Gekko Moria. And if I block this one with two cards, then I have to block with the Gekko Moria. Mm. Uh, feels really bad either way. So this doesn't feel good. Uh, we got the Pong Gibson, however, so we are able to tap the Gekko Moria. That's good. That's really good, because that's a one car answer to uh, to that attack. And then here, attacking for five is whatever. And then um, I did get a little bit lucky here. So we, even though he misplayed that bad, uh, we still needed a little bit of help out of the life there. And this ridiculous board, which usually is not going to happen. And... Um, yeah, you see how bad this matchup is for us to like need all this help and still be in like a in a difficult spot here. Attacks for five. I have to block that one. And then if if he does the right play here, he will just uh, attack for like nine here. No, he just should should have played something for free here. Attack for seven. Leave the blocker. Let, let me go because then I have to go through his blocker to go for game and no attacking here for eight is a mistake even though I have few cards in hand you know I play a lot of events so that leaves him open to for me to actually go for game and this is a mistake I don't think he did it correctly here I'm able to attack for eight for ten for eleven and then for twelve with the leader I think And if that's enough, that's enough. If it's not... <clears throat> it was just barely enough. So it definitely wasn't my opponent to lose this game. Um, I, I still try to play the best that I can. 
but my opponent did make some misplays. Uh, I think I'm playing on the rank right now. I don't remember if I, this is a rank or not. But um, but it's still, I mean, um, you have to take those advantages to that. But as I'm saying, this is a very bad matchup. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't try to play this deck to beat this matchup, of course. All right, and we're gonna go against Gekko Moria. Um, they're gonna go first, so that's not great. <laughs> uh, but at least we have some cards here. Uh, but he does have the one drop, this thing, so he doesn't have to attack or um or baby five. So I'm gonna play double baby five, hoping that I can deal with this thing and then um draw some cards here. Let's see what happens. He plays Hodgeback, so it's not terrible. I'll take this one because Harawa had 2k. And then I'm going to play this one so I can attack this. And then get double draw here. We get the spider web and we get Flamingo, which is going to be like one of our win conditions. That's not like a terrible start. I think we can do something. Uh, also, if they have Absalom, that could be a bad thing for us. Uh, they attack the one, of course. Yeah, I have to let it die, I think. And then the second one, if they have the Absalom, ooh, we have a one drop. They're probably looking for the Absalom. Well, at least he went minus two cards here. Yeah, they got the Absalom. And then he's able to kill both things here. So now we are a little bit behind. Uh, we draw this punk rotten that doesn't do anything at the moment. And I played this guy by accident. I think I wanted to play the um, the other one. Because <laughs> I was in the, in the going second curve. So I delay my flamingo by one turn by doing this. And that can probably could cost me the game. Uh, but my opponent is very fast at the moment too. Like I have to come out of everything. Okay. Attacking for fives instead of attacking for more. Interesting strategy. Actually kind of works here. Because attacking for big numbers. Uh, you just get um, spider webbed or like any event. Attacking for fives is much more meaningful for him. And yeah, I have to use an event here because I'm, I'm going to save some of these counters. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to do Flamingo next turn, so that's a problem. If I play the fight drop last turn, at least he has to deal with it and then maybe he won't be able to. And then I play at a 10 drop here and then maybe we can stabilize a little bit, but it's 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 not... It's not working for us here. And then you can attack for like bajillion numbers here. Forces us to take two damage. And punish us here super hard. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I can tap this. The Absalom. He was going to attack for five anyway. Probably. I don't know. What 2k here seems kind of sus. So here is where I would play a uh, Tendra Flamingo to be able to stabilize a little bit. But I don't even know if that's enough. Because then he starts playing a uh, Tendra Gecko Moria and uh, it, it gets really difficult here. I don't think I can play anything here. Attacks here. And then he can just put me to zero here, I think. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna attack me for big numbers, put me to zero. Because he knows that he can start playing Gekko Morias and then as long as I'm at zero, I cannot stop anything from happening here. And then, yeah, I can play a 10 drop uh, here, but that's not gonna do anything. So I think I lose here. He's a five life. Even if I play back to back to back, Flamingos is not going to do anything. Uh, 
and then I'm gonna bluff something here. Tell him that you can go for game. Uh, but this is just backbreaking here. Being able to remove the 10 drop and develop a, a Gekko Moria, more than I can deal with. All right, sadly that didn't go as well as I expected. Um, I think uh, I, if my opponents play better, they would have probably won 100% of the time. So I, I think it's not, it's not the way to play this deck. Uh, but I still wanted to showcase it to see if uh, there was something here. Uh, there is not, <laughs> sadly. So I think I will go with film when I'm playing this one. This deck uh, right now, how it looks, is probably like a one-star leader, honestly. Uh, it's definitely not, not worth playing at the moment.